We're here with John Conchart, and obviously the Dons, you didn't pull it out in the end, but you put up a big fight. What was the mentality going into that first half for you guys? Uh, we just wanted to work hard throughout the whole entire game, uh, not let up ever. Um, we just wanted to play our own basketball, uh, move, swing, move the ball, swing this, uh, side to side, and we just got easy baskets against them, and they played a zone, and we just, just didn't cap capitalize with it. What happened in that zone when they went to the zone and you guys kind of started missing threes? Uh, we just didn't gap it very well. Uh, we didn't. The middle was kind of mostly open, but we just never. We just swung the ball and didn't have as much pace to us. And obviously, Harold, he gets his tooth knocked out. But obviously, Kentucky, they're they're tall, they're long. I mean, it's hard to simulate that on the practice court, isn't it? Yeah, their their two three zone. Their their arms are really long. They're all over six six practically. Uh, they're they're a very good team. How did you try to make sure your team was still in it? You guys went one for, you made one of your last 15 threes midway there through the second half. I mean, how did you make sure your team was still in it and, and, and trying to rally back? Uh, we all have each other's backs. Uh, we just didn't, we, we'll never give up, give up on each other. And we just started knocking them down and then just went, went from there. What was Coach's message in the locker room? Um, just have your heads up. We, uh, we, we, we didn't give up at the end and we fought back and we just, to have our heads up for the next game. Obviously, you guys started well. What was the mentality coming into tonight? Uh, we just wanted to focus on just uh, trying to win every possession and uh, just you know trying to stack detail upon detail. And I thought in the first half we uh, we did a good job of that uh, to start out. And then I think uh, we just kind of when they went to their zone, we kind of just stopped attacking and we kind of just let their zone dictate our pace. And uh, they were able to uh, kind of slow us down and. Uh, we weren't, hit, we weren't hitting as many shots as we, we should have been, and they were able to run out in transition. So our mindset was just trying to win every possession, and we did it for 18 minutes, but we needed to do it for 40, and we didn't. Obviously, you hit the first three on the first possession there for you guys, and then you hit two more in that opening. I mean, how much were you looking forward to maybe people leading by example here, making sure you come out here and, and take off the mentality that you did first? Um, you know, I just wanted to come out here and kind of, we wanted to put the first uh, punch, you know, on the floor. Um, we just wanted to come out here with an attack mentality to start the game. And uh, for me personally, I just wanted to uh, try and work and get better shots. Uh, you know, than I did last game against UIC. I just wanted to come out here and uh, just uh, hunt my shot a lot more and just be ready to shoot. And uh, the guys did a great job finding me uh, early, and I was able to knock them down. You see the roster for Kentucky, and they're so big. They're so long. But is it hard to realize, especially when you got the tooth knocked out, is it hard to realize how big and how wide they are when you're in practice? Um, no, nah, I mean, I mean, we're we're practicing with guys that are like barely over, you know, barely six foot or over, and you know, we come out here. We got Kevin Knox who's six nine. We got Nick uh, Nick Richards who's six uh, eleven, and you know, they got some big guards. So I mean, it was kind of hard to you know, kind of imagine it, but you know, I mean, it, it was still a fun game. What did coach tell you after in the locker room? Um, he told us that you know we're not where we need to be right now, but you know we're. Uh, we got a long ways to go. Uh, we're just gonna, you know, kind of put this one behind us and get ready for uh, ETSU on Saturday. We're here with head coach John Kaufman, and obviously you said you had to play a perfect game against Kentucky. How did you think your team played in the first half? Well, I thought we played with tremendous energy. I mean, we played with pace, getting up and down the floor, and uh, I mean, we, we were we were shooting the ball well. We were managing crowds well, um, you know. And I think it was about four or five minutes left in the first half. You know, we're we're leading by four or five, and uh, and and we made them switch to a zone. They struggled to guard us in man to man with the pace that we were playing the first half. And you know, Kaysen started out the game, you know, just really, really you know, on and, and knock down some shots. But shot, all shots within our program, you know, to where our guys found him and, and his man was helping off our driving kick and he did a great job. And, you know, unfortunately the, the shots we took leading into half were not the shots that, that we really are hunting. They were more end of shot clock sort of things. And, 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 uh, and we just didn't do as well as we should have attacking the zone. That's an area we've been really good in the past, but unfortunately tonight um, we, weren't as, we weren't as good. How big of a factor was that end of the first half? Obviously, they ended the half on a 9-0 run. How big of it, and then the lack of momentum coming out in the second half, how big was it? Yeah, I mean, that's 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 a huge part of it. I mean, I, I you know, our guys went into to, 
halftime not feeling that they played as well as they really did play. You know, if that five minutes had been spread throughout that half. Um, and so it took a little bit of the wind out of our sails, but uh, we, you know, we, we got ourselves back in a, in a good spot. Um, but but they, they, they came out in the second half and, and really did a nice job again. They came back with their zone again. Um, and, uh, you know, we were really stagnant about it. So that's an area we need to work on, you know. And the other part of it is there was very little room for error because of the rebounding. Um, you know, they, they, they put such a challenge on you rebounding the basketball um, just with their length down low and and you know I'll watch film and see I mean they're, they're I'm sure there are some missed box outs some details but at the end of the day I mean they're just playing over the top of you and uh, and, and, and we got to come up with literally every loose ball rebound to to have a chance and uh, we weren't quite good enough there tonight and you guys hit eight of your first 17 threes and then you only make one of your next 15 what do you tell your team when when it goes cold like that uh, you know, we don't really talk about that. It's all about the process. It's where the shots are coming from. If, if they're shots that we practice every day where it's coming inside out, then we love them and we just play the numbers and it's going to it's going to turn out in, in, in our favor. Um, you know, I mean, guys, you know, our guys put in the work. They're all good shooters. Um, now, sometimes that that happens. I mean, you get hot or you get cold. Now, I do think that our, our process wasn't as good. Um, I think late, um, you know, we got a little bit loose with some of our details. We weren't stacking details as well as, as, as we did early in the game. Um, but again, we got a young group. I mean, we got some upperclassmen that you know have won a lot of games, but then we're, we're, we're bringing in six freshmen in there um, and a sophomore who, who haven't played a ton of minutes for us. And so we got to continue to grow. And I thought today was a great uh, you know, learning and growing experience for us.